<laughs> I feel like the words of the Psalms give so much voice to the things that we are talking about. Because in this season, part of my rule of life is reading a Psalm and then another, you know, passage either from the either from the Old or New Testament every day. And many, many of the Psalms are Psalms of lament, mm. you know. And so in the same Psalm, you can give voice to, you know, this is unfair. This is painful. This sucks. Mm -hmm. You can also cry out to God for vengeance. I mean, in these really raw, angry ways. I mean, there are Psalms that talk about, hey, will you dash their children against the rocks? Will you break their teeth? So there's just this gut rooted pain and cry of anger. Yeah. That that is voice in the Psalms that has been really transformational for me to say out loud, to give over to God. But at the same time that you are saying those things, you also get to acknowledge God as rescuer mm. and as That's in control. Good. That's good. And so there's something about doing both of those together mm-hmm. that um, for me has been very powerful because as I, I find that as I'm reading the Psalms, a particular person or situation, you know, by the Holy Spirit comes to mind. And that's the thing that I'm praying about as I'm reading that Psalm. Um, and so there's this interesting spiritual connection to that, those people or that issue or that thing that happens as I am interceding on their behalf. And as I am just crying out like, hmm. this, this is not right. How long? How long? How long? Lord? How long? Oh Lord? <laughs> How long, oh Lord? Mm. Um, but man, when you get to the, not all of them, but when you get to the end of many of the psalms, and there, there's just unfettered praise yeah. and acknowledgement that God is in control, that He's the only one, the only one that is going to make everything whole and is going to bring peace and is going to reconcile us to him and us to one another. Mm -hmm. And it's not that at the end of praying that everything is better, right? right? Everything's not cleaned up at the end, but you know that you know that you know that you know that God's got it in hand. And that's really kind of the most important thing, I think, for me.